Team Synergy now. Welcome back. Now take a look at your list and put, go back and put a check mark next to those things that you have complete control over. They completely rely only on you. And then circle those things that you have no control over. This is a critical distinction because the things you have no control over take up a lot of that mental real estate. We often have at times gravitating to them because they're important to us or maybe someone else's control of the process and it really eats away at our ability to stay focused and productive. So circle those items that you have no control over and then you have a choice. You can choose to let it go. Choose to just let go and not put any time or energy into that. And you'll be amazed at how often this creates a change in the situation for you. Those things that you did put a check next to that you are in control of, you're now going to want to go back and you're going to want to put a, uh, prioritize them, starting with number one being the most important, number two the second most important, and go down that list of all your check marks, putting a one, two, three, or four all the way down until they're all gone. And then next to it, you also want to put a dash with the time frame. How much time is it going to take you to complete that task? It might take a couple hours. It might be only 15 minutes. But the whole concept here is that you take the most important thing that you have to do and you do it first. Now, this allows you to give your undivided attention to something with no interruptions and you just focus. This is really the key is that when you take number one, you're going to do it first and you're not going to allow any interruptions. No interruptions. Stay focused. Discipline yourself to stay on it. Sometimes it's good to start with one of the smaller, shorter tasks, 15, 20, 30 minutes, so you can just really get good at staying focused, especially if you're someone who has a tendency to multitask a lot. You can always remember you're, you're focusing here on progress, not perfection. You can always go back later and improve it later. We just want to move processes along and get to getting productive and getting things done. Now, some of the things on your list might be big projects as opposed to tasks. So at a later time, you might need to go back and actually phase out that project to where you actually have a project folder and you're saying phase one, phase two, phase three. And then these phases are the things that you're putting into your brain dump. That way you're having smaller chunks that are allowing you to get these things accomplished.